Hey everybody, today I'm going to be reviewing this game called Scrabble Up. This game was made in 1994 and it's for two players. I think this game probably was discontinued soon after it was made. Not because it was bad, but it just really didn't sell that much. But this is a good filler game if you're, if you're into filler games. Um, this game probably takes about 10 minutes to finish. Um, it is a word building game, but it's nothing like Scrabble at all. Um, it does have the typical Scrabble tiles, but it probably has about 45 tiles that you're going to be using. This game is unique, though, because you're going to basically be building words, and you're also going to be stealing letters and this, that, and the other thing. And uh, the game plays quick, and it's easy to learn. And so, without further ado, here's how to play. Go ahead and show you how this works. You're basically going to try to get tiles up to the top here. And whoever gets tiles up here to the top first will win. So let's see how we go ahead and do that. All right, I've got va uh, vowels over here and consonants over here. And what's going to happen is each player, and there's two players in this game, is going to draw two vowels and four consonants. So let's say I choose these two as vowels. And my opponent chooses these two as vowels. And then I'm going to choose four consonants, put them here. And then he's going to do the same and do four consonants. Now all the rest of the vowels are going to go here in the middle, and we're going to be drawing from them eventually. Okay, next thing is we are both going to put our tiles in our tracks. This is my track, this is my opponent's track. Uh, so, I'll go ahead and do this real quick. A little tricky here. All right. Okay, now basically what we're trying to do is we are trying to make words from our opponent's track. So, my opponent is going to try to make words using letters from my side, and I'm going to be doing the same on his side. Okay, so that's the gist of this game. And whatever words, letters we use, we're going to take from our opponent and put on our track. So the way we're going to do this is each of us is going to draw a tile, and we'll just go ahead and start with this. Now my opponent is going to have to find a word that begins with this letter U. I'm going to have to try to find a word that begins with the letter N, and it has to be at least two letters. So the first person that finds a word um, is going to call the word out and then start this timer. Let's say for a second that my opponent calls the word um, U-M. So he's going to say um, and then I'm gonna, he's going to start the timer. Now I've got until the ball reaches the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and say the word pen, P-E-N. All right, so what happens is he's going to take these two letters that he used and put them on his side. And then I'm going to take the two letters, that, the three letters that I use, and put it on my side. So as you can see, since I use more letters, my I have more tiles on this side. And basically, the bigger word that you can come up with, the more tiles you're going to have to put on your side. So I'll do another round here. I'll put the ball back up. I'm going to draw two tiles again. I've got an E for me to find and a P for my opponent to find. So, uh, E is kind of a hard word, but anyway, my opponent doesn't care. So let's just say he says the word pine, P-I-N-E. He's going to go ahead and start the timer here. I'm going to look, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and say the word M, E-M. Believe it or not, that is a word. So he's going to take the P, the I, the N, and the E, and he's going to put it on his side. I'm going to take the E and the M on my side. And then... We're just going to do this. So now he has more tiles on his side. And the basic game, the game is probably going to be going back and forth. But you're going to continue doing this until one of you guys reaches the top or beats the top. And whoever does that will win the game. Pretty cool little game. 